M0 FXB Ham Tech, welcome back to the channel. Let's have a go at loading Ham Clock. Okay, so this is what it looks like when it's running. I'm going to go to the link above here, clearskyinstitute.com. I'll put the direct link in the video description. Then I'm using, I'm viewing my Raspberry Pi with Real VNC Viewer, and I've got the latest version and I've updated it. Okay, so go to this link down here that says desktop okay we've got some tabs here and desktop scroll up and we're going to follow these commands okay we'll do one at a time first of all open a terminal window so double click here and we'll get our oh, only one click by the looks of it and there's our terminal commands and we're just going to put in cd lowercase and then start copying the rest of the commands that you're seeing on the left so there's CD, then we're gonna do the curl one. And this is a blank Raspberry Pi. I just decided just to do a complete fresh version, then update it. Raspberry Pi 3B, right click, paste, enter. And then the next one down, the CMOD one, copy. Click on the black square, paste. And now has that not gone in? Do that again. Copy, click here, right click, paste. That's not going in. Where's the command gone? Oh, if I have to, I'll type it, here goes. Doesn't seem to want to paste for me. Right, got it in there, enter. Next one, install, copy, right click, Paste, that's better, enter. And then it says, the script will install ham clock. Okay, yes or no, I'm gonna go Y, enter. I'm just gonna follow it through. Well, it's going further than last time, because last time I had a problem. I just wouldn't load, so I just deleted the SD card and loaded a fresh version version of Raspbian using the Raspbian editor, which looks like this. So you literally just get your SD card, put it in your PC after you've formatted it, and then choose the, the operating system. So I chose Raspberry Pi 3B. Then you choose, I just chose the top one, 64 bit and then choose where it's gonna go. That's basically your SD card. You can even set your username and password and everything for your Wi-Fi. So I just think it's the best way to do it. So it's still downloading. So you can see that um, ham clock is actually on now. You know, if you look here, this is a live feed. Um, 328, in the UK it's uh, 428. But this is what you're gonna get. And the idea is as well that you can plug in a, a HDMI cable into your Raspberry Pi or use a HTML, the, um, what are they called? The cable that convert HDTV video capture device. And you can have it in the background, you can have it on a monitor. Uh, so you can see it's, it's pretty cool, I like it anyway. And I think I need to learn more about what, what you can view. And it's free. Uh, so that's quite cool. So we're just waiting for this to load and then we'll have a play with configuring it. So I'm using a Raspberry Pi 3B and these days you can get them second hand for £25 on eBay. Or oh, it's going to be faster with a 4 and 5. I haven't actually tried it with a 5 but I think I will just to, just to see if it will work on a 5. I don't see why it won't but you never know. Let's quickly look at some of these other links as well. If you've got errors it does give you some options underneath here. Commands that you can get it to update and things. But you know my solution, and then you've got original QST article. You've got the download here. Okay. And facts, lots of answers and questions and answers. User contribution. Um, ESP28266. Okay, credits, thank you very much, all involved all here and then the user guide as well I've not looked at the user guide so that's that's going to definitely help and I think there's a link to it as well the user guide so yeah when you first 
get when we first get this downloaded, we've got to put in our call sign, our location, and other information that we might want it to display. And it just talks you through. You can change the color scheme as well. There you go. I mean, it's just nice looking, gadgety looking display, isn't it? How can you not like that? And you're playing around with Raspberry Pis. There's your DX cluster. SDO shows Solar Dynamic Observatory Satellite. BM280, Environment Sensor. You have to install that. NOAA Space Weather. POTA, SOTA. Moon Displays. More user guides, solar flux, sunspot, drap, rotator control, live spots, VOA cap. Oh, it looks like we've got a message here. So install ham, so I'm going to go yes, I'm going to go Y. Click here and go Y. Enter. Uh, user guide, well, um, do I need that? I'm going to go. Well, why not? At least it'll be on the desktop, won't it? Go yes. Let it install that. Yeah, I do want it to start, because I'm going to make this my Pi, that every time I connect it, I know it's running. You may run hand clock from the command line by typing hand clock. OK. Look, I'll leave it there, this window, because we've got it up here. Let's just click down. We've got it up here anyway as a shortcut. It's already put it there. So like I said, the way I'm able to view my Raspberry Pi is with this VNC viewer. So let's double click it and see if it gives us the, what do we have to execute? I mean, I'm not Linux friendly, so I always have to keep reminding myself. Let's double click it. And then we get this option, execute. This window opens. I'm going to put in my grid here. Let's delete that. I O A T one M I normally. Now, if you want to know your grid, just literally just Google it. Put in grid number, and you'll get it. Wi-Fi. Hmm. I could put more Wi-Fi in. Yeah. Why not? Uh, not sure what that does. I'm going to put it in anyway. Uh, so once I'll put that in at the end before I move to the next bit. Call. I don't want you all to see my Wi-Fi. M0FXB grid. Use GPSD. Why not? I don't know really. Or IP geolocate. I literally don't know. <laughs> Uh, or whatever. Wi-Fi, we're going to put that in a minute. And then we'll click the next page. I notice if you use their keyboard, you don't, you don't have to make it go capital. You just select the bigger letter. Okay, I connected to it. I think I could have configured more items, but it's come to life now. Ta-da! I managed to get my call sign in there and my location and my Wi-Fi. So yeah, what next? So have a little play. If you click at the top, see this? You've got little other options, live spots. You can click things that you're seeing, sunspot, solar wind. You can select and deselect. Look, I'm making. I'm just going to put them all black. And then, what else we got here? Rotate. What's that? Click OK. Wow. And it just looks cool in the shack. And if you get your Pi and have the HDMI out going to one of your monitors, it's going to look cool. I think it is anyway. Just clicking around here. Let's see what else we can see. 
So look, it's free. Big thanks, of course, to the developers. Good quality. You can change the quality. You can go back in and start modifying items. I'm not sure why it's gone white there. Did I click something? But um, have a little play. Thanks for watching. So that's my little initial. Really, it's the initial install of of this device of this software. And um, give it a go. Bye for now.